This will be a brief introduction to creating custom themes for Simple Machines Forum version 2.0. To start, you always want to have a clean test environment. For example, you could add it, put it in a subfolder of your main site. For example, your site slash test site or your site slash forum slash test site. You don't want to ever edit the code on your main site and use that as a testing ground because you don't want to end up breaking your main site. As well as your main site probably has modifications installed on it which you don't want to have copied over to a new theme. The tools I use are FileZilla for my file transfer, Crimson Editor for my HTML slash text editing, Adobe, Adobe Photoshop Elements for image editing, and Windows XP for file compression. So let's get started. On your test site, it's always good to go ahead and create many different boards uh, and categories so you can see what a nice full forum looks like, as well as some long descriptions, some short descriptions, no descriptions, so we can see what every different type of board may look like. I also like to create a forwarded board so you can see the redirect icon. As well as go ahead and create a new post in a main category, a main board, as well as a child board so you can see the on and the on to icons. Okay, once you have your test site built, you will go into admin. You will scroll down to themes and layout. Scroll to the bottom of themes and layout. You will go to create a copy of default named and you will na now name your new theme. I typically use all lowercase letters and a dash instead of a space just to keep everything nice and clean, easy for computers to read. Later on you can rename that as you like when you're putting it on the SMF site. And once the install is successful, you will see installed successfully. And you can scroll down, click back. And you can go ahead and make that your new default theme on your site so that as you're making changes you can see them live. Okay, and once you have your new theme active, go to your home page. You can see that we have the new theme active, but can't tell because it is a default theme. So that's when we begin to edit the theme. The first thing I like to do, there are a couple of files which are not included in the install process. And go ahead and clean this up here real quick. So you will go to your default theme, board index.template. That controls the actual board area where the posts and the post information is displayed. As well as in the CSS folder, forum.css. And we'll go back to our new theme. Copy those back in in the same format. Okay. Now we can actually go in and start editing our files. And this is where Crimson Editor comes in handy. Crimson Editor actually has a remote ability to access your files remotely. So I will go ahead and open up all the main files we work with. And go into CSS. Open these two files. Okay, the first file I like to access is the theme underscore info. You need to go ahead and change your ID from SMF to your name. It will get kicked back to you every time if you do not change that. As well as, you want to change author, give yourself credit. As well as the website, give credit to your own site. And we can go ahead and save that. Then the next thing I like to do to get out of the way is go to the index.template, scroll towards the bottom where you have the copyright information. And we will simply create a new list item. make those uppercase letters if you want or however you want to title that. It's just going on the footer of the theme so it doesn't really matter. And you can make the link link wherever you want to. You can make your name the link. You can make the title of the theme the link. However you would like to do that is up to you. It's entirely your signature you're putting at the bottom of the page. And we can go back to the page. Go back to the site here scroll to the bottom and now we have our 
test theme, which is the name of our theme, and giving yourself credit there. Okay, that is the basics of setting up a theme. I'm going to make a couple of quick edits so that you can kind of see where you need to go on forum.css. Actually, on style, sorry, on style.css. If you go to body and background, we'll go ahead and change that to black just for a dramatic effect. On index.css, you can change the width. We'll change that to 50%. And go back to our site, do a refresh, and boom, there you go. You got your nice black background with a nice skinny site there. Okay, once you've done that, you'll go back into your file transfer here program. And you want to go back to grab your entire theme folder and bring it over to your computer. Okay, once the file transfer has completed, the next thing you want to do is create two screenshots. You want to go ahead and make one screenshot nice and large. Um, this will be your preview image on the SMF test site. And you want to make it nice and large so people can see what they're getting their hands on. So we'll save that. I typically just call it the same thing as the theme, just to make it easier for myself to remember. And then you want to make another one that is 120 by 120. And this will be your thumbnail, which will actually go inside your theme folder. So you go to your images folder, go to thumbnail, and you will overwrite the thumbnail file that is in there. And that's it. Now you have your preview image and your thumbnail image. And then once you have everything completed, here's the preview image. You will want to zip all of these files up. You do not want to zip it up from here, from the top directory. You actually want to go within the directory and zip it up. So we'll create a zip file. Some people will highlight all these and then create a zip file. However you do it is completely up to you using the Windows XP compression tool I will and just drop everything into that folder and that's it you have created your theme when you go to the SMF test site and you go to upload your theme you will want to upload this zip file as your actual theme package as well as your preview image as your preview image and that's all there is to it um, once you submit your theme to the SMF test site, they will test it, make sure everything is HTML compliant and CSS compliant. As long as everything passes, your theme will be approved. If there's any issues, they will e email you or send you a private message on Simple Machines forum and tell you what you need to fix. Good luck with your themes and feel free to come over to I post you post with any questions you may have or just to simply show off your new theme. Thanks and good luck.